today I thought I'd do a little day in the life video just to see what I get up to on Madeira Island in my daily life where I'm not particularly visiting a place and just getting on with my house. Hope you enjoy. So this is my garden and I must admit it is actually pretty big and a spectacular view. We originally bought our house and this was the house in front. The house in front had a lot of land but the house behind on the other side of the road had a lot more property but eventually we caved and bought the land as well and I do not regret it. The land is um, on three levels and on our bottom level we are in fact growing a veg garden. I'll do a little tour of some of the veg we've got growing. It is very overgrown at the minute because we had quite a lot of rain downpour. But in this jungle we have got some garlic growing, sweet potatoes growing, potatoes, more potatoes. Here is what's called cucumelon. Then we've got sweet peppers starting to sprout. Got some French onion. We've got kiwi growing up on the trellis. Then we've got courgettes and they actually just flowered today. The flowers of the courgette is edible. Oh look, there's a little bee pollinating it for us. If we carry on, all around the border of the garden we have cabbage. And actually our cabbage was given to us by our neighbour in that house there because we let our neighbour cut back all of the ferns that we have growing. So he feeds them to his sheep and he gave us cabbage in place of those. I've got sweet corn, but this sweet corn is a rare variety and they're all different colours. We've got some lettuce, some, I believe this is a type of orange pumpkin. Here just sprouting is baby watermelon got our rainbow carrots, under here is our radish, broccoli just starting to flower, then we've got rocket, we've got four different types of tomatoes, they're all different coloured tomatoes, back here we've got cucumber, we've got a small dragon fruit and another dragon fruit, then here we've got a red bean, just going through the back, we've got beetroots, some more lettuce, and pumpkin. And then this is called a kiwano, and it's like a spiky cucumber. And last but not least is our globe artichoke that's coming through nicely. If you would like to see a tour of the garden and the type of things that you can grow in Madeira, do let us know in the comments and we can do a run through of our garden for you, no problem. So as well as our house back here, that's our house that sits on the land in front. And we are actually renovating this one at the moment, hence the mess. So it's going to be a little guest apartment. A little kitchenette with this view and a gorgeous fold out table to have your dinner on. Bed, painting, and I mean, the most gorgeous view. And our current project is the bathroom. So I painted it all dark yesterday, and as you can see, it needs another coat. And we are just working on this now. I always find the same 
with a paintbrush to go on thicker. But I actually always prefer painting with a paintbrush. Maybe that's because I paint canvases and stuff like that. But I just always find it such an easier way. It goes on thicker, you have more control. Like, if you look here, you can see the quality of the roller compared to the paintbrush. Okay, so this is done by a roller. And now if you look up here, this is all done by a paintbrush. I don't know, it just doesn't make much sense to me doing it by roller. I understand it's quicker. Does anyone else feel this way? I've done my second coat in that room now and I'm just going to use this to wash our tools. Now that my second coat is done in the bathroom and I have cleaned up my paintbrushes, I'm going to go into the art studio and just check on some of the pieces that I've been working on, letting dry, that sort of thing. So at the moment I'm working on some ceramic pieces. So I haven't really spoken about what we do or anything about us really and we're just trying to showcase um, Madeira Island but I actually work as an artist and I make and sell local galleries, international galleries, stuff like that. So if it is something you'll be interested in seeing do let me know and I'll be able to give you some tour of my work. in my morning. I am now going to probably pop into actual Funchal because there's some bits I need to do in the city. But now I'm just going to sort this video out and then get on with the rest of my afternoon. If you'd like to see more videos or anything else, if you have any questions about living in Madeira and stuff like that, do just leave them in the comments and we will get back to you. Hope you have a lovely day guys. Thank you for watching.